It's always something special when you get a chance to make a difference in someone's life. And Towson students, Kip and Harrison Hart, made that difference. Halfway across the world, using a stick and a ball. Joy, our former au pair, works at the Waterberg Welfare Society with these orphans that are all either, you know, infected or affected by the HIV virus. Well, she asked us if we want to play soccer, and we agreed to it. Um, to play with them, but instead to play lacrosse. We just thought we would bring a lacrosse, lacrosse over there, the sport that we love over in America. So Kip and Harrison brought lacrosse to an orphanage in South Africa, but it wasn't easy. They figured it would take about $20 to give each kid a stick and a ball. And with 130 kids, not only getting the equipment, but transporting it would be daunting. So the brothers set up a nonprofit organization and they asked for $20 donations. And then, with the help of Sports Her Way, who sold them the sticks at cost and gave them the balls, this dream became a reality. I really loved the experience because it was, it was something different because instead of just you know, donating money to a charitable organization, I was doing something to, to really help someone else. And I love this thing. This was a win-win situation for kids with no parents and the HIV virus. They had something that no one else had, and they were special. For Kip and Harrison, they felt special too. The best thing really was just seeing the smile on their faces, and it was just awesome to know that you could do something like that to help them. And a mom couldn't ask for more from her kids. As a parent, you always want your child to realize how lucky they are. And I think when you go to a place where the children have lost their families, where they live in you know, pretty poor conditions, where you know, getting a new lacrosse stick is probably the best thing that's happened to them in the last five years, um, it puts everything in perspective. But from Kip and Harrison's perspective, they want to do more. So they're going back to South Africa later this year.